Hey, what's up coach? I wanted to shoot this quick video here and show you some things that I wrote down in 2015 that I have tried sticking with within my own business. This is sitting on my desktop on my computer and every day that I get into my office, I see these rules and they have not changed, all right? And what I recommend that you do, if you wanna take a screenshot of this, you can. Uh, but I recommend that you have business rules that you follow. And here's the thing, when you set up rules that you follow and you see them every single day, they just start to get ingrained into your mind and you start changing your behavior, right? And I'm gonna go through some of these uh, business rules that I have. There's not a million of them. It's everything that you see on the screen. I'm gonna go through these one by one and show you kind of what these mean to me and how this has been helpful. All right, so the first one, it's I will give thanks every day for being alive with this opportunity. And this really just, this comes down to being grateful. Like I made a, a video maybe a month ago about the story that I had about the mason workers and the roofers and how that impacted me. And really I, I look at it as it's such a blessing to be able to coach kids. And when you give thanks every day, for being alive and you have this opportunity, it makes what you do a gift instead of this burden of, oh, I have to go coach. Like coaching is such an easy job <laughs> and I know how much coaches put into it. So like there's a lot of work, there's a lot of grind, there's a lot of effort. But if you think about it, it's like you should be so thankful to have this opportunity to work with with kids and have the freedom to have this type of job. Like it's amazing. And this type of job did not exist 20, 30 years ago. It didn't like, like this industry has blown up over, you know, especially the last 10 years. All right. So that's my first one. The second it's, I will create my schedule based on my lifestyle. So this can mean different things to different people. You know, a lot of younger entrepreneurs and business owners, they want to work until their teeth fall out. And that's cool. Um, I used to think that way. That doesn't really last. Um, and a lot of people, they don't really know what kind of lifestyle they want. So I think it's good for you to determine what lifestyle you want and try to create your schedule based around it. All right. So for me personally, I have a very simple lifestyle. I, I wake up at a certain time. I work in this office for a certain time. I know exactly what I'm doing on a, on a daily basis with my schedule. I know the things that I need to do outside of work and I have those things are set. So those things are, are scheduled on my calendar, but those are all based around my lifestyle. And again, my lifestyle is simple. That doesn't mean yours needs to be, but that's one of the rules that I follow and that helps me protect my time a lot. All right. Next one is probably my one of my favorites on here. It's I will be a winner and do whatever it takes to succeed and losers find excuses. And here's the thing. Losers will always find a way out. Losers will always find um, a way to not get things done. And winners will always figure it out. Like That's just how it is. And so one, one of my favorite documentaries is The Last Dance with Michael Jordan. Like if you see just the difference between him and his teammates, it's undeniable. You, you can just see in his mindset that he's going to do whatever it takes to get the W. And in business, it's no different. Like if I have to do a video or I have to write a newsletter, if I have to do something, if they get on a coaching call, I'm gonna be there. Like I, and that's a, that's a commitment that I have. And winners will find ways to win and losers will find ways to lose, all right? Next one's really important for me. It's I will learn from mentors who I aspire to be like. And I love this one because back in the day, I used to be really stubborn and I didn't know who I wanted to be like. And I was stubborn to learn from other people. I wasn't really looking for advice. I, I just thought, well, the way I'm doing it is the way that it's supposed to be done. And that's the way it's supposed to be. And what I quickly realized is, no, I need to learn from people who are ahead of me and people that I actually want to be like, not, not someone that just has good information, but like if I actually spent time with this person, would they be someone that I would actually want to hang out with? Not, not just because of how much money they have, but like their character. 
and that's one of my goals is like if, if I'm gonna work with someone on a business level, I wanna I want that to be someone who's like a trusted advisor, someone that I I can actually talk to to about things outside of business, not just business. All right. So this is why there's a big difference between learning from mentors that you aspire to be like and learning from mentors that are just going to take your money. And I would say a lot of the coaches, one of the reasons why I have successful business is because a lot of the coaches know like they can jump on a quick call with me and I'm, I'm going to take it. Uh, they can reach out. They can ask questions. And I care more than just about how their business does. I, I care about people in their personal life. Like that's one thing. I can take to the grave with me and I know that's true. All right. Next one is I will eliminate negativity out of my life. I will never communicate with anyone who brings negative energy. And this is just the facts. If, if you hung out with me for a year, like <laughs> you would probably think I'm a very boring person because I don't spend time with anyone who's negative. Uh, there's no drama in my life. I don't seek out that type of drama. And uh, if there's anyone negative in my life, I immediately stop talking to them. <laughs> and that doesn't matter who it is, by the way. It's anyone who's negative. I will limit my time with them and I will not spend time with them. And the thing is, is I used to spend time with people who were that way. And I saw how that affected me in my just my personal life. And the more time you spend with someone who's like that, the, the more draining it is and it's they're, they're like a vampire they're just going to drain you from all of your energy all of your positive thoughts get flushed down the toilet all right so i choose to not spend time with anybody who's like that period all right next one is a really good one too it's everything that happens to me good and bad is my personal responsibility and i blame no one but myself these are the choices i made this is the life i'm living and i will accept the consequences of my actions and the way I really approach this statement, it's at the end of the day, I can look at myself in the mirror and be like, okay, like what happened today? It, what happened wrong today? Like if there's any sort of like crazy client problem, well, it's on me. Uh, I'm, I got to deal with it. I'm not going to sit here and blame people. Uh, if I'm doing great, awesome. If I'm not, cool, let us fix it. And I know that at the end of the day, I have very little control of everything, right? But I do know that I'm not going to put the blame on anyone. If my business is not doing well, I can't say, well, you know, why is this person not doing this? Like leaders don't do that. Leaders find ways to win and leaders accept personal responsibility. And I will tell you, if, if you're the type of person that accepts personal responsibility, there's no one that can stop you from being successful. That's just how it is. And I've talked to, at this point, I've talked to enough people over the past five, six years that have businesses and successful people think this way. They are not blaming anybody for anything. They, if something bad happens, they take the responsibility. They look to fix it. All right. Next one is only serve the people who matter to the product or the service. Do, uh, don't try to cater to everybody. I like this one because like, when you put yourself out there online or you put your, yourself out there in your community, there's going to be people who don't like what you do. And at the end of the day, those people don't matter. Like, the only people that really matter to your business are your customers, people that are on the fence of wanting to be a customer and, and, and converting them into your product because you believe in your product. And everybody else doesn't matter. And you know, a common question I get from coaches is like, well, you know, what if I send out this newsletter and people unsubscribe? I, I always say, well, if they unsubscribe, they, they're probably not going to be a customer anyway. So why does it matter? All right. So stop trying to cater to everybody and just focus only on the people that you can help. That has helped me a lot, especially since I started doing a lot of stuff on social media, because like, I think you'd be surprised that the amount of messages I get via text uh, the amount of emails I get, some people claiming that our stuff is a scam. And like, I mean, it's hilarious now because, I mean, if what I was doing was a scam, I, I'd be the hardest working scammer. I've, I've have over 600 plus videos on this YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, and uh, again, I don't pay attention to stuff like that. I'm just bringing that up because 
you have to have thick skin with what you do and you need to focus on the people you can help, not anybody else, all right? Next one, this is something I talked about in a recent video, is saying no to opportunities that don't align with, align with my vision. So if someone has this cool sounding opportunity that has nothing to do with what I'm currently doing, like I always say no. Like I will only say yes if it matches up perfectly with what I'm doing on a daily basis. And if not, then it's just, it's this extra thing on my plate that now I have to pay attention to. And if I have to pay attention to that, it's just gonna take me more time during the week. That pulls me away from my vision. So saying no is key, all right? Next one, and again, this is just a personal statement, but it's whatever I do, I will be competitive and push 100% to be the best in my industry. So I, I always tell people this, this is a personal choice. Like having a business is a personal choice. Having a mediocre business is a personal choice. Having a good business, it's a personal choice. Having a great business, it's a personal choice. And having the best business, that to me is for like the 1% of people who are that competitive that want to continue to make what they do better and better and better and better. And they're not satisfied with where they're at. And that's how I think. Uh, I know that the stuff that I do can be so much better. And it's one of the reasons why you can be really successful when you think that way, because you're not sitting there content with how things are. You know that you're looking to improve the product, right? And if you think that way, like, let's say you're like, you know what? I'm going to be the best coach in the state or in the nation. There's nothing stopping you from doing that other than yourself. And that's not saying I'm the best because I'm going to be arrogant and cocky about it. It's like, no, I, like, I want to be the best in this industry. Like, that's a good thing to say. And that's a good thing to strive for. Because when you do that, you have the best product. You have the best service, right? And I do think that is something you should start telling yourself more. And again, this is something I see on my desktop every day. So I can't hide from this stuff, <laughs> right? Uh, last one here, it's I will hunt and execute daily like my life depends on it. And for me, th this is just very personal, but like I married, uh, my wife and I decided before we got married that I would be the sole, uh, sole provider. And if I'm gonna be a sole provider, then I can't just like sit up in this office and, and twiddle my thumbs on Instagram and, and hope to get clients. I can't just like wait around. All right, so when I say I will hunt and execute daily, that means that like there's certain metrics that I must hit daily. I need to have a certain amount of sales calls. Like I might need to be posting a certain amount of content. Uh, I'm gonna drum up business. I, I'm not gonna just wait and be passive with my business. I'm going to be proactive, All right? And that's a choice that I make. No one can make that for me. Um, I'm not waking up in the morning with somebody else pushing me to, to come up to this office and dragging me by my big ears to, to get up in this room, right? It's something personal for me. Like I know what my why is and my why is strong enough to get me up at every day at four o'clock in the morning to get me up in this office, right? So that's why, right? For me, that's why I can be really consistent with the stuff that I do. It's not this like week on, week off motivation type of thing. And for you, the way that I think you can relate that to your business is instead of being passive and waiting for clients, you're out there on the hunt. And when you're on the hunt, your business becomes easier long term because you're not waiting for clients, you are proactively getting clients. And that to me is a huge difference. All right, because you're not waiting around, you're going out and you're hunting. All right, that's it for this video. I hope this video helps. And if I was you, I would create your own rules that you stick to, that you see on a daily basis. And what happens is when you start seeing that over and over and over, your mindset changes. Uh, I think a lot of what happens is day to day changes. You start saying no, and you start having more discipline and clear focus on the things that are ahead of you. And I will tell you, if I woke up and I came into this room all the time and I was kind of unclear on what I'm supposed to do and I didn't have any rules in front of me, I don't have any structure, I probably wouldn't be making this video right now. Probably wouldn't have 600 plus videos on this channel at this point. Like, 
a lot of the coaches that we work with probably wouldn't have had the opportunity to work with them if I was just kind of going through the motions and, and doing things just scatterbrained, right? So go create your rules. Look at that daily. I know how much that helps me. And I wrote these in 2015. All right, this is seven years later. I still stick with exactly what I'm talking about here. So I hope this helps. Catch you later. And uh, thanks for watching.